I think the DV5 definitely has the potential to transform the lives of female surgeons because it's transformed my life. The robot really does facilitate enhancing your physical limitations, pushing past your human being limitations. Just like with me, I'm 40, I'm having my second kid within 14 months, and I'm operating well into my third trimester because of the technology that the robot affords. I feel like I can see better, I can do better, my patients have better outcomes. I'm achieving my personal goals without sacrificing my professional ones. Historically, all medical devices, tools, instruments, everything has generally been designed for large male populations because that was the population of, of surgeons. But we've obviously, that is changing, so we need our instrumentation and our tools to match that. The DaVinci 5 was designed to accommodate a much wider range of users. The floating viewer with the movable headrest, the movable foot tray, the curvature of the armrest, and the new ergonomic controls. We now accommodate shorter arms, smaller statures, and let's say, you know, a pregnant female. Working for 12 hours or more was a risk factor for major complication with your baby. And I would contend that 12 hours is more the norm than not. With the DV5, I didn't feel limited by my pregnancy at all. My physical limitations were pushed past what is normally humanly possible because of the robot. And I think that's why I didn't stop. I was able to sit. You can put your console wherever you want. You can raise your armrest and like operate like little T-Rex. To be candid, I've gained 60 pounds through this pregnancy. So anytime you're, you know, have a technology that has diversity of body types in mind, I think is only going to be a benefit to the surgeon and then by extension of that benefit to the patient. A happy surgeon is a better surgeon. There is scientific evidence that says when we are happy, we perform better. And so if you are comfortable and you are happy, you're going to make fewer mistakes, which then leads to better clinical outcomes. The ergonomics are incredibly important. I truly believe in like the mind-body connection. When I feel better, I can operate better, and I'm a better human being. <laughs> My husband can tell a difference when I've used the robot versus when I've been doing lap or open. I, I mean, my body's not physically stressed, and therefore I'm not cognitively stressed. It's all about that, that end user. It's all about that, that patient at the end and enhancing those clinical outcomes. Isaac Newton said, if I've seen further, it's because I've stood on the shoulders of giants, and I always feel like that every time I'm using the robot. I've operated well into my third trimester without a decrease in my volume, without a decrease in complexity of cases, and that's, I have to say, a big part of it is the DV5. My goal in telling the story is that when my daughter watches this back, I, I want her to think that I'm a badass. <laughs> Having surgeons like me have a platform with Da Vinci is extremely important for the next generation of surgeons. You don't have to choose one or the other, you can really truly do it all. And I'm living example of that. <laughs>